Okay. All right. I've got three words for you. Dance really? machine challenge. Mm, oh, Everyone, wow. yeah, you may do that. Where's you may. Everyone's had to do it, apart from me, because I said I would openly weep and rock in a corner. But um, <laughs> how did you find it? I was rubbish, Bella. Once again in my life, I was rubbish. No, you're I don't not. Understand don't dance. let me I'm take you home. To do this now. <laughs> James, what about you? Um, <laughs> not good. I, I would imagine they had to bleep out a lot of the stuff. Okay. All right. Let's Definitely. see how you both did. Here we go. James Jordan, Ben Simone. If I was going to beat anyone, it would have to be everyone. Not that I'm competitive at all. I need to win. I need to win. Come on. Welcome to Strictly Dance Machine Challenge. You score points for stepping on the correct arrow. You lose points for stepping on an incorrect arrow. Three, two, one. Now dance. Come on. Rubbish. Well, I'm rubbish. No, 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 it's not working. I'm perfect, it's a machine. Well, I'm rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Oh, yeah. I like watching you two watch that. Just going, no, 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 we look like children. Good. It's time to reveal the scores. Mm. Are you both ready for this? No. Mm. Right, we're going to go, James, with your first. Let me just tell you, the person to beat is the Bennett, the Darren variety I of the have Bennett. I could that bad. 21,800. Oh, OK, maybe I could. So what do you think you've got? Um, not very high, I don't think. Okay. I mean, normally I'm the best at everything, but in this particular occasion, I think the machine was fixed, possibly. All right. Let's see your score. James, 66,500. Come on! Hey? Of course, I knew I was the best, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well very done. Good. Top of the leaderboard. Look how happy no, you I'm are. I'm very happy. So that's yeah. the good Not news. Not competitive at all. That's the good news well, of the day. Well, you might have beaten them, Vincent. No, no, no way. No? no, way. no. Okay. <laughs> I want, I'd like to beat all the girls. Okay. That'll make me happy. <laughs> all right. Be the lowest guy. It's, it's OK. OK, all right. Let's see. Well, the, the, Ola got 5,200. But you say so you want to beat Ola? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you It'll have. Let's reveal your score. No way! <laughs> no I'm way! So sorry. Um, well, I beat three you, girls. You didn't get zero. No, I didn't you get didn't, zero. No, you didn't get zero. Amazing. Such a good point. Look on the bright side of life. I yeah, like exactly. your style. So Thank you, you so much. Makes you the best so far. James right. and Vincent! <laughs> So we've seen how they're all getting on in training for the Argentine tango. Now here's what they'll be wearing. <laughs> The Argentine tango is probably the dance that straddles the Latin and the ballroom. It's a dance of passion and love. The key to the Argentine tango has to be the legwork, so the main ingredient is the split, so that they have full movement even though the dress comes into a very tight point at the knee. The costume is incredibly important because you've got lots of things like lunges and also lots of ganchos where we hook our leg to the man's leg. So it's very intricate and you have to be very careful with the design of the skirt especially. The most interesting Argentine tango dress is Rachel Stevens and it is one piece of crepe fabric which is extremely stretchy and quite weighty and it meant that she could kick her leg really high and the whole thing would ride up and then as soon as she did the next sharp movement and put her legs down, the whole dress dropped. And I think we all just were so excited about how brilliantly it worked. By the time Alicia was doing her Argentine tango, she was absolutely loving the dancing, obviously. She was brilliant. She loved her little red number for that. Had a kind of 40s feel and she had brilliant hairdo that made the whole thing come together. We generally put the boys in a tux or a waistcoat for the Argentine tango. The man has to look very macho. So it's important for the man to look very passionate, very strong, you know, with a bit of a stubble. It's perfect. 
I think the minute Mark Rampakash slicked back his hair and took on that Hispanic look, put on his tux, I mean, everybody in the room knew that that was going to be a spine-tingling moment, and I think we all just absolutely love it still. Matt D'Angelo wore a cravat, so it was slightly different, just that sort of little edge of something modern and, and fresh to it. He had a beautiful blue cravat that matched my costume. He felt the part, and he, he just looked like a real Argentinian. <laughs> By the time the couples do the Argentine tango, they're really good dancers and you're ready to see their connection, the passion, the thrill, the sex appeal. I absolutely love it.